Hi everyone, Tracy Badger from Benton, Kentucky, doing another edition of Coffee and Chat. Well, par for the course for me, it's past coffee hour, but it's never too late for a little shaken and not stirred martini. So cheers, here's to you. Ah, I'll chomp on those olives in a little bit. <clears throat> so what I have here today is a Gold Tone GT750 six-string deluxe banjo, but really it's a banjo guitar, which was started by Wayne and Robin Rogers out of Tallahassee, Florida in 1978. They were folk musicians back in the day. Good for them because that's where a lot of us learned a lot of the tunes that we play today. The, uh, they started this banjo guitar instrument uh, about 1993 and it's really it's a pretty neat instrument let me tell you just a little bit about some of the woods we've got on the back of the neck I don't know how well you can see this <clears throat> hard rock Canadian maple and it also has a two-way adjustable rod resonator I don't know how well you can see that the fingerboard is curly maple and the bridge is rosewood, another one of my favorite woods for instruments. <clears throat> now, this instrument weighs almost 11 and a half pounds. <laughs> it, she's heavy. So, and also because of the way that you have to hold it, <clears throat> the length of the neck, I don't play this instrument a lot because it really hurts my neck. I tend to watch my left hand probably more than I should but I'm sure it's just maybe the depth of the neck too. It's, it's not as flat, it's hard to tilt that neck toward me. So I can't quite see where my fingers are going. Nonetheless, I strain my neck when I play it, <clears throat> but it's worth it. Now, this is also interesting in the tuning because it is Nashville tuning or high strung tuning, which is kind of odd. I don't know about you, but I know a lot of people that are high strung. I never knew instruments could be high strung too. But really, <clears throat> what that means is you're replacing the bottom E, A, D, G strings with a lighter gauge string and bringing them up an octave. You can hear it. Still gives it that honky sound that the banjos normally have, but it gives it kind of a haunting and just a different flavor to anything that you play. So I'll demonstrate a little song. I'm sure most of you will recognize this called Dream a Little Dream of Me. Enjoy.
Take care.